Hey what is going on guys, Horcrux here, welcome back to the channel and before we get into today's video I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for your ongoing support and a special shout out to my patrons, uh, should be kind of fading in here now, uh, you guys make this channel all the more possible so without further ado let's get into today's video. So this video, I'm not going to lie fellas, I don't know if this set is going to break the game or it's going to fix the game. It definitely needs some tweaks. Me as a solo player, I'm absolutely in love with it, but I can also see being on the receiving end of this set. So, trying all the sets, you know, I was checking out Delta's Gaming and I come across a, a serial set called Dark Convergence. Now, the passives are really good, you know, two, three, and four piece, all great, uh, you know, kind of neutral passives. And then the five piece. Compared to all the other five pieces in the game, I've never seen something uh, so terrifying. So let me go ahead and just buff up. Now, on this build I'm running, it's just a bunch of random random sets. I have zero damage. I have like a mixed piece of uh, Desert Rose. Uh, I have Blood Spawn. I have Vet Shran. Uh, my jewelry is all uh, fucking recovery. Okay. So with that in mind, I just want you guys to take a look at the tooltip on Dark Convergence. It has a 21k tooltip with zero damage modifiers. I, I, I'm running, it's incredibly, I don't want to say unbalanced, but this reminds me of Proxydet back in the vanilla days. So let me kind of explain what this set does. It's better if I show it. So. Essentially, when you cast an area of effect ability, it puts this uh, bubble on the ground here. So, it works in a couple different phases. So, when you first use the AoE, it uh, pulls people and suns them after half a second. And another couple seconds later, if they're still in this AoE, God forbid if you're still in this AoE, okay, it explodes. Now, it says it only does 10,000 damage if you're on the edges of it, and it kind of doubles the damage if you're in the center. Okay, well, we're, we're going to... I'm going to show you guys. That's not the case. So, I'm putting this test dummy on the outer rim of the circle. So, we're going to use it. Buff up real quick. So, it's going to do eight, 18, 6, 8, 0 oh, damage. That's the exact same damage is if I put the AoE directly on top of them. So if you're in this AoE, your ass is grass. You're you're just going to die. Now I've I've tried pairing this with uh I mean imagine with other classes like the the necromancer is like Atro, you know, it that comes out of the ground and pounds your ass literally into the ground. Can you imagine? With proxy dead on top of that or any other AoE, you know, conduit that you want to synergize with this. So now I'm gonna put the ability directly on them. This is on a 15 second cooldown, guys. This is it still does 18.680. So I'm not sure if that's a bug or it needs to be reworked. But I did try uh, some combinations. So I tried out corrosive armor with this. This actually does not increase the damage, um, even though this is technically a direct damage ability. I know it's a direct damage ability because I tested uh, all the CP out just for this going between whether it's a single target ability or direct damage ability. This stacks off two, it, it double dips. It double dips into the uh, the Biting Aura CP and it also double dips into your, uh, your uh, excuse me, your, your direct damage attacks. It does not scale with single target, it does not. So, as you can imagine, Necromancers with this set is are going to absolutely destroy Zergs. Not, just necromancers anyone with an aoe ability i've yet to try it with uh, other classes like sorks i don't know if the daedric mine fills a pocket but the dk has a specially good skill it's a so the problem with this skill is you have to target it the placement is very very important if you use a uh, blockade of frost let's say if i'm back here it's just going to do it from like some random point uh from here to here so you really can't target uh, exactly where you want it, so you're gonna mess up your combo. So let me build up my ult here. That's why I'm going with uh, Eruption, actually. It's a very expensive fucking skill. Now the DK build I'm gonna come out with is probably gonna use this ability. 
So not only does this set stun, slows, and does a massive amount of damage, okay? That, that, that's the three, and it amplifies the damage the more people that's in it, okay? I'm hitting 18,000 on this target dummy with zero damage modifiers and only one target, okay? So this has a slow, and in addition, it's going to stack with the eruption slow. If you do not roll dodge like double roll dodge out of this you're just you're just dead like as a solo player that's terrifying to me but also as a solo player when people just want to bum rush me and, and jump on my dick this is amazing you don't have to set up any burst it's an insanely easy turnaround combo you just throw down your aoe and then wait half a second and then whatever ult that you have whether you're going to be running standard or leap or meteor or corrosive armor Whatever you want, you just pair that, and you're going to delete someone. I mean, you could even go a step further and put on Vicious Death if you wanted to just kill everyone, which I'm thinking about doing. I'm really considering a, a Zerg bombing build with this DK. It's probably going to be my first build coming out on the PTS, where it's going to have Malakanth. It's going to have uh, probably Bloodspawn uh, or, or Grothgar. I haven't really decided yet. With Dark Convergence, with either Vicious Death or Burning Spell Weave, something of that nature that's going to really amplify the damage. This is actually scary. Um, scary fun, that is. So uh, let me show you um, another pairing you can do with this, because I was kind of running with the uh, ults I want to pair with this as well. Um, if you don't want to run Talents, so I'm trying to go for like an Immobilize, I'm more than likely going to be running a Frost Staff on the back bar when the PDS does go live. I've tried out all kinds of other renditions, but it just seems like Frost Staff is just far superior, especially for this combo that I'm going to set up. So, what you want to do, you just want to activate your Frost ult, activate your normal ult, and the reason you do it this way is because it takes a second for the storm to uh, go off. But when the storm hits people, it immobilizes them. So, unless they roll dodge two times, they're going to get hit by this AoE. It's incredible synergy. I really do think the, the Frost ultimate uh, from the uh, Destro Staff skill line is going to be really good pairing with this. And of course, like I say, you can pair with any other uh, AoE combination that you want. Um, this patch coming up, guys, like, DKs aren't going to be single target anymore. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be single target heavy attack builds, which I'm definitely going to make one. But going into the next patch, I mean, you already see I'm, I'm rocking a lightning staff. I'm, I'm already preparing for it, fellas. So, just wanted to kind of bring this set to your attention. I haven't really played around with the rest of the CP trees, but it does double dip. It does hellacious damage. Malakanth Band is going to be an absolute must if you're going to run this set. Sadly, it can't crit, but it really doesn't need to. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. Is this a... Is this set going to get tuned down a little bit? Is it uh, exactly what Zoss needs to implement into the game as a Zerg busting tool for us solo players? I really hope they leave it alone because I cannot wait to jump in, leap into a Zerg with his, this AoE and Vicious Death, Dark Convergence, everyone down to the ground. It's just a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, fight fire with fire. So. Um, really hope it stays as is. It's a great tool for solo players. Maybe Zoss is actually uh, on their game when it comes to listening to the PvP community. I don't know, but who ever decided to make this decision to put this set in the game, I fucking love you. Okay? I don't care if I get hit by this. I don't care if there's three people running this and hit me with it. I don't care. I died 90% of the time anyway, but since I go for clips and 1vxs, I mean, this now... Any Magicka class, really, or maybe Stamina, shit, I, I'm sure Fangrush will come up with some build with this as well, but, like, any Magicka class can hold their own now. Uh, Zerg bombing, like, it's not just Nightblade specific, you can do it on pretty much any class, like, even even Sork, like, you just toss down your Lightning Storm or anything, I really want to try this with Mines, I think Mines would be a really good pairing with this. Plus it kind of pulls you in, plus you want to hit all the mine. anyway, that's theory crafting for later, I've rambled on more than enough. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me reiterate, thank you so much for my Patreon supporters, uh, especially Jeremiah, who actually opted in for a $100 tier. Um, it comes with amazing perks. If you guys want to check it out, there's a link that's always down in the description. Um, expect more videos like this. I cannot wait to theorycraft when the patch drops. So, this has been Horcrux. Let me know what you guys think about the set. 
and I will catch you all in the next one.